Okay. So when I tell you I have a calendula farm, this is what I'm talking about. I am dirty with calendula. I've harvested a lot of flowers this year, and this is just sort of an area that we let go again. And then here's our strawberry bed. It's obviously really rocking. Uh, we got a lot of strawberries out of this in the spring. Over here is like this insane land of grasses and potatoes and dill for the most part. Uh, that's the bee balm and morning glory corner, and there's a new fig that I started, that I planted there. And then over here, some more dill, and underneath is a bunch of strawberries we transplanted because we decided to go up with them, make them easier to pick. Here's our very sorry tomatoes. They're not happy with us. Look at this incredible, like, grass. Look at this stuff. It's just filled in here. I think this is holding a lot of humidity into the garden, which is nice. Beautiful kale and some okay tomatoes. So these later tomatoes that we planted are doing better. And over here was more strawberries, but they didn't really take. And then back here is some more madness. So I've got Jerusalem artichokes. And then this is corn, beans, and squash. Three sisters. All the way through. It's really kind of four sisters because uh, there's the amaranth also acting as a pole. But it uh, looks like we got a lot of flowers going here. Most of these on this end are the winter squashes. So I'm just going to have a look in here for a second. There's a little fruit formation there. Down here are the summer squashes. Um, I hope these guys have been eating because I haven't really done it. Oh yeah, there's zucchini down there. I did put in a hell of a lot of zucchini, so I'm really hoping we get good production, but, you know, I'm crazy the way I jam everything together here, so I don't know. I'm hoping these guys have been eating, because that's what they've been waiting for. Okay, one more thing. Let's see. Quick thing. Nice runners. So some of them are going to do something. <laughs> some of these squashes are climbing. Uh, there's some blueberries in here, and they're sort of being guardianed by the amaranth. And then that's the back side of the peppers. This was peas earlier, but they got um, ground squirreled. And then here's some rhubarbs struggling, and then there's a rhubarb thriving. And then here's a view from the back side. Okay.